leaving America. Moving was never easy, not across town, not to a new city, a faraway state. This was America, a new job for dad, good schools, new friends, mom said. That was our life growing up in 50s America. My world was never father knows best, American graffiti, perfect. My world died, Kennedy was killed, King was killed, Bobby was killed. There was the war away in the Eastern world, not my war, not mine. Old enough to kill, I felt the draft blowing my way. Something had died deep in my homeland, deep in my heart that would never live after this. I could have stayed, could have signed up, I suppose fought, as some did, and died, perhaps. I was afraid not of joining, not of fighting, but of America, what it had become. Moving was not easy, not out of America, not to a strange city, to another land, so different yet so much the same. Not just an immigrant, I was a refugee, a stranger in a strange land, draft dodger to some, coward and traitor, even in Canada. Some called me and others political freedom fighters, conscientious objectors, Americans in Canada unable to ever go home. We only felt very alone. An amnesty was announced. Most of us in Canada didn't trust this amnesty, didn't trust America anymore. Fearing a trap, most of us stayed, put on ill-fitting Canadian identities, became uneasy citizens of our new land. Half a century later, estranged from our home, many of us have died, not from war, but old age and regret. This betrayal of us and by us remains a cancer in our hearts. I have no regret that I left America, only that America made leaving necessary, took from me my home. I cannot forget.